Hi guys, Mike here and this is a video comparison between the Asus Transformer Prime and the Asus Transformer Infinity, both Android slates available on the market right now. And we're going to start with the exterior for both of these tablets and uh, you notice that uh, both actually come with aluminum cases. We have the Amethyst, ver Amethyst Grey version of the Prime here and the Champagne Gold versus of the Infinity, both are available in these two color options and uh, both come with metallic backs with circular pattern as you can see here looks good both feel very solid however there is one difference on the infinity you have a plastic strap here on top and that's because beneath the beneath this strap there is in fact the antennas for the wireless and gps signals uh, signal as you probably know the uh, Asus Transformer Prime actually had problems with those and uh, Asus went uh, with this approach in order to actually solve the problems. Putting the two tablets side by side you're going to notice that they're exactly the same in terms of weight, in terms of size as well and they're pretty much the same in terms of thickness. There's one difference though, on the Asus Transformer Prime the edges were sharper than on the Asus Transformer Infinity which actually makes the Infinity a bit more comfortable to hold with both your hands. And uh, in terms of ports, they also bring the same uh, features, but they're differently placed. For the Asus Transformer Prime, you had a speaker here, you also have a speaker on the Infinity, but on this side you had the headset jack over here, while on the Infinity you only have a small microphone jack. On top, on the Infinity you have the volume rocker, and you also have the power button, while on this one you only had a microphone and the power button. And on this other side, you had the volume rocker here on the Prime, the micro HDMI port, the micro SD po card port, and a microphone. While on the Transformer Infinity, you have only the micro, HD, uh, micro SD card reader here, a microphone, the micro HDMI, and the headset jack here on the bottom. While on this uh, lower part, uh, both of these devices come with proprietary docking connectors also used for charging and of course these latches that will help you attach the two to their docking stations. Both these tablets actually feature docking stations and uh, they're actually identical. The docking station that uh, was designed for the Transformer Prime earlier this year will also work on the Transformer Infinity. So if you already have one you don't have to buy one for the infinity as well you have here the both options this one on amethyst gray and this one on champagne gold they're basically the same on both of these you have a keyboard and it feels quite comfortable you can use it to input content on your tablet the keyboard also the keyboards also have dedicated buttons uh, that you're going to use in android the arrow keys are slightly smaller and you also have a trackpad a bit stiff here but overall all right it will do the job inside you also have a battery and uh, attaching the actual tablets to this uh, docking station is fairly easy in order to remove them you just have to press the latch towards the left and just remove the tablet like this and in order to attach it you have to center the arrow here on the tablet with the arrow on the docking station press it and that's it it's now attached and while attached the docking station the battery inside the docking station will actually charge the battery inside of the tablet and uh, speaking of the docking station it also comes with a couple of ports and I'm going to show them to you over here you have this the proprietary charging dock you also have a full-size USB port over here and a full-size SD card reader as well and the uh, when combined, uh, these devices will actually look like a laptop, they feel very solid and they will provide good performances and up to 15 hours of battery life, which is of course not bad at all for a device that only weighs about uh, 1 kilo, 1 and a bit kilo. Both these tablets actually feature excellent displays. 10.1 inch in diagonal however they have different resolutions you have standard HD ready uh, 1280 by 800 pixels on the Asus Transformer Prime and you have full HD 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution on this one on the Asus Transformer Infinity right now you don't really have the apps to show the differences between the two but uh, especially when it comes to text you're going to actually feel 
a difference here and let me zoom in a little bit so you will be able to see the, that for yourself check out this very nice looking widget here and you're going to notice that some of the icons here aren't looking as good because they're not optimized for the high resolution screen and in comparison the widget on this uh, transformer prime is not looking as crisp and the icons are just uh, just uh, the same I should also mention that the ASUS Transformer Infinity is built on a slightly faster Tegra 3 platform running at 1.7 GHz for a single core and uh, when multiple cores are running this is clocked at 1.6 GHz while well, this is clocked at 1.4 and 1.3 GHz for multiple cores running. So overall this should be snappier despite the fact that uh, this processor has to push more pixels, about 50% more pixels uh, on the screen of this particular tablet. Both of them will offer pretty much the same apps because uh, ASUS doesn't change a lot uh, the default Android uh, iteration. Of course you have all the Google applications and they're running very good and are excellently built for Android 4.0. You have these ASUS uh, bundled applications like uh, MyNet, okay, MyNet, MyCloud and MyLibrary and of course you have Polaris Office that you can use in order to edit documents and these are all included for free. You can go ahead and edit documents on both of these devices. You also have Tegra Zone, Nvidia's Tegra Zone where you can find content, uh, games and stuff like this and uh, I'd say that both uh, of these devices can run all the titles here without a problem. However, later down uh, the road you will be able to get uh, games optimized for the full HD, HD display of the ASUS Infinity and they will actually look better than the games, the THD games available right now that are optimized for the 1280 by 800 pixel screen on the ASUS uh, Transformer Prime and some of the other similar devices. So in times you will have a better gaming experience on the Transformer Infinity but for now these are pretty much on par. Also both of them can manage, uh, can actually run uh, without a problem all kinds of uh, video content which is actually quite good and if you're looking for more applications you should go into the Play Store. Unfortunately I haven't actually signed in on the Prime, on this particular Prime and you can go on the App Store uh, get all the applications of course the app store is a little bit of a mess because you can't really say which application is meant for the big screen of the tablet and of course there are very very few if not uh, any uh, applications meant for the full HD display on the infinity at least for now but if you're watching this clip later in a couple of months there will probably be some good applications over there as well you're probably aware that the ASUS Transformer Prime had some problems with wireless and GPS signal and you should be happy to know that those were actually solved on the ASUS uh, Transformer Infinity. Uh, you no longer have the wireless uh, signal drop when uh, you're going further away from your router to like I don't know 50 plus feet with multiple obstacles between them and uh, that's actually quite good and I'd say the performances are even a little bit better than what you get on the iPad or the ASUS Transformer TF300 which once again it's uh, something you'll enjoy and in terms of GPS this uh, can uh, catch uh, while well, this had problems uh, catching uh, GPS signal while inside or even while in your car this will catch uh, the GPS signal very fast in probably less than 30 seconds in most of the uh, uh, tests in most of the tests I've uh, I've performed. In the end, we should talk about two more things: battery life and performances. Both of these tablets feature a 25 watt hour battery, so the same capacity. However, the Transformer Prime actually lasts longer, and uh, that was actually expected because it has a lower resolution screen that will need less energy and a slightly slower platform with slower memory as well. Both of these will go for about uh, seven to eight hours of life in average daily use as long as you're selecting the balance mode but uh, the prime can actually push about one one and a half hours longer to up to eight and a half maybe nine hours which is actually quite good while playing movies 70 while looping 70 to uh, 70 uh, 720p content sorry uh, you will be able to get more than 10 hours on the prime and about nine hours on the asus transformer infinity up to 10 hours if you're going on the 
uh, on this other mode, on this echo mode, that actually affects a little bit the quality of the screen. Uh, and uh, what's actually more important is that in games, while this one could last for about six hours, this one will only last for about four, four and a half hours. And uh, that was once again expected because uh, the platform is powerful and has to push more pixels towards this high resolution display. Still, only about four or five hours for gaming, that's uh, not really that good and I was hoping for more. As for the prices, ASUS pushes both of these uh, devices right now for $499 for the 32GB version. Uh, Wi-Fi only of course, because the 4G LTE options will only be available later this year. So $499 for 32GB of storage and $599 for 64GB uh, of storage. And this makes the bo both of these transformers uh, about $100 cheaper than the uh, equivalent uh, iPads. However, there's no 16 gigabyte version of this, which uh, makes uh, them and the iPad start at the same number, $500. Alright, this pretty much wraps up our video comparison between the ASUS Transformer Prime and the Infinity. And I'm actually glad to tell that uh, ASUS managed to fix most of the issues I had with uh, the ASUS Transformer Prime on their new tablet. All those, all these while actually bringing a couple of improvements like a faster hardware and uh, a very good screen with full HD resolution. Of course, both of these devices are starting at 499 and uh, the Transformer Prime still has one thing on its side and that's battery life because it doesn't have the faster processor and it only has the standard HD ready screen, it will last for longer, for about uh, one to two, maybe three hours longer based on what you're doing. But uh, besides, the, besides that, there's actually no reason why you shouldn't get the Transformer Infinity, especially that the docking station for the Prime actually works with uh, the new version. Those are pretty much all the things I wanted to tell about these two tablets right now. The Transformer Infinity is for sure one of the best Android tablets available in stores, probably my favorite. If you want more details about it, you should see the complete video review and also our other comparisons with some of the other popular tablets available on the market, like the cheaper ASUS Transformer TF300 and both the uh, Apple iPad 2 and the latest generation Apple iPad 3. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like what we're doing here.